Welcome to Mother Daughter Projects. I'm Steph, and today we're making a picture frame for Polaroid pictures. And stay tuned to the end when I show you how to make a couple different types of Polaroid pictures. Don't shake it. Don't shake it. Put it somewhere dark for 15 minutes. You'll need a 1x8 6 foot board, a 3 8 inch dowel, 3 clips, a sawtooth hanger, and 3 Polaroid pictures. To start, cut one edge of the board to get a nice straight edge. Then I figured out 15 inches is a good length for the display, and if you're using a 6 foot board, you can make 4 displays from one board. I'm using a miter saw to make the cuts. This display can hang on the wall or rest on a tabletop. To make the holes for the dowels, I started by placing a piece of painter's tape on the board to get a nice straight line. I measured 3 inches from each side and marked the placement of the hole. I'm using a Rockler portable drill press for more precision for the holes. On the side, I was able to set it to 15 degrees, which is the perfect angle for the dowel supports for this display. You can see I already added my cordless drill to the top and set the other side to 15 degrees. The drill press has stops that you can place, which makes sure you don't drill too deep. Here you can see when my drill is on top of the stops, the bit won't go through the wood. With that set up, I clamped the drill press to the wood and table and made the first hole. Then I moved on to the second hole. I will say I did this twice before off camera and the holes were not perfect, so that's how I came up with this method. And here you can see when the drill hits the stop. Here I'm putting the dowels in the holes to figure out how short to cut them. I marked it and it happened to be 3 and 1 4 inch in length. I used a miter box to make the cuts. I'm testing it out and perfect. Next, mom sanded the board and off camera used this weather gray gel stain to finish the boards and dowel. Once that was dry, I added the sawtooth hanger to the back. I placed it in the middle at seven and a half inches. These are my very favorite sawtooth hangers as they already have the nails in place and are really easy to get level. Then I placed the clips and figured out the equal distance they need to be and then drilled them in place. This was a little difficult to get the drill behind the clip, but you can see I used a longer drill bit attachment to get it in place. Then I tested it out with the dowels and it works! Here it is all done, and these are three pictures that represent me. One of our DIY projects, one of my Greyhound Mac with her Polaroid camera toy, and me hiking in Colorado. And these pictures can easily be swapped out, and they will be as this is destined to be a gift for a friend of mine. What we learned! So growing up I've always loved Polaroid pictures, but I never had a Polaroid camera, and pretty recently within the last few years mom actually got this vintage original Polaroid camera. I'm going to open it. She got this from a yard sale and um, and I saw it and I was like, mom, can I have that? She's like, sure. And so I did some research to see if it works and it does. You don't have to really do anything. It just works. And when you open this part, it turns on. There's really nothing you have to do. And they actually make the film still. These are two different films that I use. There's a black and white and a color. They also make multiple others um, as well, like with different frames and stuff. But I like the classic frame, the little white frame around there. Um, but you basically just put the cartridge in here. You push this, take a picture, done. Um, which is great. Like this is really cool if you can find one of these at a yard sale or online. And they do make a new version that uses the same uh, film as the this older one. But if you're wanting something a little bit more tech savvy and to have more options, they make this. And this is a printer, so you can print any picture off of your phone using the same pictures 
uh, or the same uh, film right here um, that goes into this. And so I'm going to show you how to do this because this is pretty cool. I actually love having both. Um, and these right here, these pictures were actually all scanned um, with this right here. Here's a close up of the printer. And you can see on top there's just a little cover you take off and that protects the lens. And then on the side you just push the power button and it pops up and it turns on. And then those little buttons at the bottom represent how many pictures are left. So there's two pictures left in this. And then you just download the free app and it's called Polaroid. And this is called the Polaroid Lab. So you click on that and then you pick the picture that you want. And I'm going to use a picture of mom and I kayaking because that's our new favorite hobby. And then you want to make sure that you have any phone cases removed from your phone so it can lay completely flat. And you want to turn off the true tone and you want to make sure your brightness is full bright. And this is telling you that right here on this message. And then it's explaining what you need to do next. And you'll see there's these two little gray circles on the phone and I'm lining those up with the two circles on the printer. And it will give you a little sound to know that you've done it correctly. And then you just push the red button and it prints. And like I said before, you do not want to shake these. You do want to keep them away from sunlight, put them in maybe a closet or something for about 15 minutes and then it is ready to go. The cool thing about this display is you can hang it in a different way. Well, you can hang it or you can put it on the table like this with those dowels. So I like that there's kind of two options depending on how you want to display it. You also can do different um, little clips up here. I got a couple different versions to try out, uh, but ultimately I like these the best. Um, and the pictures can easily be switched out for anything. So I had this idea to make this for a friend that I went on a trip with recently. And then I thought, you know, this might be something other people want to do. So I decided to share that here with you. If you like this project, please give us a big thumbs up. And if you want to say super thanks, you can leave a financial donation down below. You'll see a link down there. Uh, so thanks for joining us. If you want to see more projects from us, be sure to visit us at motherdaughterprojects.com. All right, I'll see you later. Bye.